Hi, I'm Kelly Harride. I lead Catastrophe Research and Development in Corporate Enterprise Risk Management here at Liberty Mutual. I have a decade of experience in the insurance industry focusing on catastrophe risk and am trained as a climate scientist. So the state of trying to capture climate-related risk and its impacts on the economy is that we essentially have two different families of models that cover different aspects of that risk, but neither of them was really designed to capture that problem in the middle. So there are climate models whose job is to look for sort of large scale average conditions using a deep understanding of physics to look forward into the future. And then there are catastrophe models, which are meant to look for extreme events hurricanes, floods, wildfires, and translate those into economic impacts at the individual and community level. So each of these are covering important components of the problem that we're trying to solve, which is how will climate change impact extreme events and the economy into the future? But there's not one out of the box tool today that solves both sides of those problems because climate models are not great with extreme events and catastrophe models aren't that great at looking into the future. So we see a real opportunity here for coming up with a married or merged model of climate inflected catastrophe models that take components of climate models and take components of catastrophe models and use them to look forward into our view of risk into the future. And there are a couple of really important benefits to this, but the most important one is that it allows us to do more effective, resilient, building and planning. So we know that there are certain climate related impacts that no matter what we do, they are coming down the pipe. And we are seeing the impacts of those today with sea level rise driving increased coastal flooding, and we're seeing wildfires and flooding. We know that we are going to have to build our communities in a way that is more resilient to these hazards. Good tools can help us make those better decisions, but those tools don't currently exist. What we propose is that we need to put an investment into the unique scientific expertise of leveraging climate science and insurance industry expertise and putting those two pieces together to understand how climate inflected risk for major hazards will change into the future. So our path that we see forward is to invest in developing this research capacity, build out this modeling capability, because that will allow communities to be able to access this information and make better decisions.